Hi, and welcome back to Just Drawing, Google Drawings with Mrs. H. Today, I'm going to show you how to make stickers. This will be lesson number one. This is going to be the easy way to make stickers, and I can also show you some other cool things in my next videos about stickers. So, um, you can see right here, I have some stickers up here. Now, the way to really make it a sticker is that you're going to have to buy some sticker paper. So, this paper right here is just one giant label, and so you can see it will peel off. So you can print this in your printer and print it, and then you will have to cut out your stickers. And then you'll have really cool stickers that you can um, put on anything. There's different types of sticker paper. This paper I bought has, um, I bought 30 for just $5. You can also buy vinyl sticker paper if you want to make the stickers that you put on your laptop or on your water bottle. So lots of different choices there, but you just take this paper and you stick it right into your printer and print like normal. So let's get started how to make a sticker, and then you can get printing. If you've never done Google Drawing, you can watch the Getting Started video to show you how to open up a Google Drawing page. If um, you'd like, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the waffle in your Gmail. So when you're logged into your Gmail account, you're going to look for this waffle that has nine dots. It'll put a drop down menu. It'll take you to your drive with a green, blue, red, and yellow triangle. Once you click on that, it'll open up a page and it will have a big button that says new. You're going to click on the new button, slide down to the word more, and slide across to Google Drawings. And then you're going to have a page that looks just like mine. Now, I'm going to show you the most important tool uh, to get started, and that is the undo button. Up at the top, if you make a mistake, up at the top, there is this little arrow up here. If you hover over it, it says undo, and it will take away anything that you've done so that you can... Um, start over or correct that mistake really quickly. So watch as I undo all of these things here so I have a blank page just like you. All right, let's get started. So um, we're going to be doing uh, two different types of stickers today. The first one is we're gonna find images from the internet um, that we like. So what you're going to do is you're gonna come up to the top up here. Oh, before that, let's title it. <laughs> let's go ahead and title it stickers so that you know uh, where to find it if you're looking in your drive. Then you're gonna go to the word insert at the top. Click on it, you're gonna slide down to the word image, and then you're very carefully going to slide across, and you're gonna slide down to this magnifying glass that says search the web. On the right hand side, this will appear right here, and you get to search for images. Now you search for things that you love. I love kittens, so I'm going to write kittens and I'm going to search. I'm gonna find a little kitten that I love. I love this one right here. I can slide down if I want and see all the choices. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one. And then I'm going to come down here to this blue button down here where it says insert, and I'm gonna select it. Wow, that's a beautiful little kitten here. Now, there is a really cool tool that pops up when you insert an image. So right here, this is the crop tool. So if you, want, if you don't want to have all this background in here, you can crop it. Um, by clicking on this button. I'll show you that later. Um, but what you're gonna do is there's a little arrow right next to it that's pointing down, and when you hover over it, it says mask image. Go ahead and click on that button, and it looks like the shapes button. So you can slide over here and choose a shape that you want your sticker to be. So if I want my sticker to look like a little cloud, I click that and look what happens to my picture. So cool. Now, I don't wanna have a sticker this large. That would be a full sheet of paper. But you notice at the top, there's a little ruler and it tells you how big your sticker is going to be. So I'm gonna click back on my image. I'm going to grab uh, one of these little squares in the corner. Make sure you're up in the corner. You're gonna click and you're going to slide. I'm sliding down just very slowly until it looks like the size I want it to be. There we go, now I have a sticker. Now I can come up here and I can see, look at my little ruler here. So this is gonna be almost, if you click on it, it's all the way over to the four. So it's gonna be like a four inch sticker. It's gonna be still pretty large. So you really need to think about that when you're making your stickers, how big you want them to be. Now another fun thing, besides going and getting images there, you can also take a picture of yourself. So if you want a picture of you, maybe it's your birthday or something fun and you wanna make a sticker. So you can click on the word insert, you're going to click on image, but this time you're going to slide across and you're going to come all the way down to the word camera. Now, you might have something that pops up that says allow um, so that Google Drawing can use um, your camera. So make sure you click allow. If you click not allow, then you're not going to get a picture of yourself. So you can come out right here. You can take a picture, smile. 
And then you'll see your picture up here. Um, if you don't like it, you can cancel and retake another one, or you can go ahead and click the word insert. Now I have a picture of myself. I can use my move it arrow. This is not my move it arrow. Let's see, that's my move it arrow. I can put it anywhere I want on the page. I'm gonna put my, this one over here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get that mask image button. Now look, if I'm not clicked on the picture, there's no buttons. I have to make sure I'm clicked on it. And I can come up here. I can get that mask image button. And I can come down and I can make any shape that I want. And now I have a sticker of myself. And maybe I want to say that it's my birthday. Um, so I can actually also put words on my stickers. So there's a little T right here. This is called the text box. I can click on the text box. I'm just going to click on my page. And then I can write... It's my birthday. It is not actually my birthday, but that could be fun to make a sticker of yourself to wear on your birthday, or you could make other people wear it if you want and have them write, it's Mrs. H's birthday, and then everybody has to wear a sticker. All right, so you can also see that you can change the size and font. So when you have the text box, all of this will appear up here. So look, if I'm not clicked on it, it's gone. When I click on it, all of this appears. So right here, it usually says the word Arial at the top. Um, but if you click on that little arrow, it'll give you all these choices and you can choose any font you want. And then right here is the size. So I can click on this and it'll make it bigger or smaller. Um, if I wanna make my words centered, I'm gonna highlight them. And then I can come up here. There is um, this little button. It looks like a bunch of lines. If you hover over it, it says the word align. You can click on that and um, this one will put it right in the center. You can also put it over to the right if you want or back to the left. Um, and that just makes it a little bit, look a little bit nicer. So you have some stickers here. You can do any shape you want um, or any picture you want. Another um, thing that you might wanna think about, um, so if you put in the word insert and you go to image and you're gonna search the web for something and maybe this time you're gonna look for books. I love to read. Um, and I have all these books, but it's like lots and lots of books. Um, and this isn't quite the books I was looking for. You can also type in, there's two different things you might type in. One is books and then the word clip art. And that's going to give you images that look more like this. Another thing you might want to do, so maybe I like this one. We'll click insert. And then, oh, that one wasn't able to make it. Let me try one more. Let's do... Let's try this one. There we go. So I have some books. And I really like images, too, that don't have a background in them. So another thing when you're searching, so I'm going to go back to insert image, and I'm going to go to search. You can also type in um, the letters P and G. So you can do book, and then you can do P and G. And that will give you a book that doesn't have a background. Now, this one already didn't have one, but it'll give you some more choices if you don't want that background image in it. So if you're searching something and you keep coming with a background, you're like, oh, I don't like the background. Try, try typing in PNG, and sometimes that will give you what you want. So again, after you figure out what, you, um, what image you want, all you have to do is be clicked on the image, come up here to this little arrow where it says mask image, and then choose something. There's even right down here, um, if you go down to arrows, um, there's other shapes here. Um, under callouts, there's other shapes. There's even a little star in here. Um, so you can make anything you want. And then remember to be using the ruler at the top to size it the way you want. I recommend filling up the page with as many stickers as you can before you print it. That way you are not wasteful of um, your sticker paper um, since you're having to buy something special for it. All right, friends, I had fun drawing with you. Um, have fun creating your stickers. Don't forget to like and subscribe.